What's going on guys? Filthy Card Breaks here and today we have a small PSA return. Um, I got 10 cards, about half of them are mine and half are my friends. Uh, we just included in the same submission. I've been doing a lot of PSA reveals as YouTube Shorts or on my Instagram. Uh, I've been submitting about once a month in smaller batches. Uh, before I, I submitted like a couple times a year, but I was doing like big submissions, like 30, 40 cards. Uh, but I started doing kind of like between 10 and 15 cards, and I like that better because um, you dodge the potential of getting like one really tough crater. And then also, in an ideal world, you get like consistent returns. Um, so if something drastically changes in the market, um, you know, you've got you've got cards either before it's gone down or before it's gone up um, and you're not kind of putting all your eggs in one basket in terms of the sports card market staying healthy and also um, getting a tough grader because uh, usually when I submit cards I am gonna be selling some of them so uh, that's what I've been doing it kind of didn't quite work out that way in terms of the return because all of my returns have came back within the last couple of weeks, even though they've been spaced months apart. The return I'm about to show you guys is actually the oldest one I had out. Um, I submitted this in December, um, and I've actually got bulk orders back that I submitted in February before I got this one back from December. So I'm still going to keep spacing them out, but the return time at PSA is just not super consistent. Um, Anyway, with all that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I decided to do a long form video instead of a shorter one because there were a couple things I wanted to talk about with this return. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. First one is a very nice Von Grissom PSA 10. This is the Purple Refractor Autograph from 2020 Bowman Chrome. That set has both Vaughn and Michael Harris autos in it, so it's kind of like a Really nice set if you're a Braves fan. I bought this one off of Twitter actually. It had a faint print line on it, but otherwise it was in great shape. And we managed to get a 10 even with that, that kind of faint uh, print line. Really beautiful card. I think the, the purple looks nice with the, uh, the Braves dark blue unis that Vaughn's wearing. Uh, I also submitted a base auto of Vaughn, and this one got a 9. Of course, Vaughn is starting the season in AAA. We will kind of uh, see what, uh, what ends up happening there. Uh, the next one is a card from 2022 Bowman Sapphire. I believe I opened this in the Rookie Card Explosion Box. It is a Daryl Hernandez. Um, this is the Aqua out of 55 and a guy PSA 10. Pretty good prospect here for the Orioles. Um, so always happy with 10s. I also wanted to point out that um, two of the cards that I had in this submission, which were a Julio Rodriguez 3D rookie card and a Julio Rodriguez update rainbow foil, uh, those both got PSA 10s. And I'll actually put on the screen right now. Uh, the actual scans of those cards from the PSA uh, set registry. Uh, but I actually am consigning those cards with PC Sports Cards, which is the same company I use for grading. So I didn't physically get those cards back, uh, but they were in this submission. They both got tens, and I'm consigning them. Uh, very fortunate to get tens on those. Uh, those will should sell very well and will more than cover my cost of the submission. Um, so that's always a win when you can just you know, sell one or two cards and it's going to cover the entire cost of the submission. Um, I don't do, always do a great job of, of uh, including that information when I do these reveals, but I did want to showcase a couple cards that, that I'm consigning uh, from this submission. Next up is kind of a unique card. This is a 2020 Bowman Draft. Um, this is the image variation, Emerson Hancock, Emerson Hancock um, Auto. The image variations are numbered out of 99. Uh, really cool card. Unfortunately, they don't put the first logo. So this set actually has Hancock's first autos in it, but they don't put the first on the image variation. So kind of a cool card. I thought it was borderline 9 or 10, and we did get the 9 on that. The next one is one of the cards I wanted to discuss. So this is the 
home field advantage Julio Rodriguez I pulled this out of a hanger pack it was really really fun my wife picked it out for me um, and I opened it in the car which I never do that um, when when I buy retail I never open it in the car but my wife was driving and I opened it she picked this out for me and I got an eight on it um, so there's a couple things I want to discuss on this card you can notice that it has these kind of bluish ink splots all over the right side. Um, I saw that when I was submitting the card and uh, otherwise besides those spots which are kind of all over the right side and there's a few down here as well I thought the card looked in great shape. So I was like so I was wondering if these spots were print defects or if it was part of the design. So what I did is I looked at PSA 9 copies of this card um, at the time I couldn't find a 10 I looked at PSA 9 copies of this card that were uh, on eBay and they also had those spots, uh, similar spots, and you could tell on the scans, not always in the same spot. Um, so since that was the only thing that was wrong with this card and it had a very small PSA 10 pop, I still su uh, submitted it expecting to get a 9. Unfortunately we got an 8 here. Um, I just don't know how PSA handles those print defects. You know, I don't think an 8 is necessarily the wrong grade, um, but it's weird that that these cards seem to all have that. And I, I want to highlight that this card has about a 5% gem rate. There's been 263 submitted, and only 14 of them have gemmed. And for the entire Home Field Advantage set from 2022 tops, it only has about a 10% gem rate. So this set is incredibly hard to gem. Uh, so that's just one of the things I wanted to discuss, those kind of blue marks on this card and the fact that these home field advantage cards seem to have a super low gym rate, uh, most likely because of these printing defects. So if you have one of these, uh, make sure to check that out before you submit it. It's still a really cool card, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell this one or keep it. I haven't decided yet, uh, but still a really cool card. And we'll, we'll throw it up on a stand in front of Vaughn. So this, this next one is the last card uh, from this submission that is mine. The remainder are my buddies. And this is the 2017 Tops Aaron Judge leaning on railing. Um, this is an SP from uh, Update. This set was actually an update, but they back numbered it uh, to give him his Series 1 number. So when I was looking up this card to submit it, I wasn't collecting in 2017, so I wasn't very familiar. It was really a pain for me to to uh, find it because even though the number it says Series One, this card was actually in Tops Update. Uh, it's a cool card. Uh, I submitted it thinking it was between a nine or ten, and it did get the nine, unfortunately. But uh, pretty neat card. I'm excited to see if Judge can uh, can recapture his home run magic from last year. That card will probably be another one that I uh, I sell. All right, the next ones are all my friends, and it has another card that I wanted to discuss. So first off, we're going to start off with a really nice uh, 2022 Bowman Chrome Roderick Arias Speckle Refractor. These are out of 299, and it got a PSA 10. Arias is one of the top international prospects from his signing class. And uh, just a really beautiful card. I should have checked the pop report before I filmed this, but I have to imagine this is probably pretty low pop. Um, Bowman Chrome Autos are notoriously difficult to gem because uh, they're always on card. So, you know, that means the player is physically handling them. But really beautiful card, and congrats to my, to my buddy. Next up is a Hunter Green Purple Refractor. This also got a PSA 10. Uh, Green is on one of my fantasy teams, so I followed his first outing with the Reds. Unfortunately, he only went three innings. He did strike out a bunch, and I think he threw a pitch like 105 miles per hour. Um, I saw a tweet that said it was the second fastest recorded pitch in history. So pretty pretty and crazy, but uh, he'll have to work on his uh, control because he does tend to walk a lot of guys. And then uh, also just uh, being more efficient so that he can get more than three or four innings to start. But he'll be fun to follow and see how he does. And that got the 10. Next is a really nice Bobby Witt out of 2022 Bowman Chrome. This is the Fuchsia. I think these are at 199, 299, excuse me. Uh, that also got the 10, so that's a really nice 
uh, Bobby Witt rookie card refractor parallel for my buddy. And then 2022 Bowman Mega Box Chrome Orange Refractor, another PSA 10. Um, my friend's putting together the rainbow of this card. And I think he has everything except the red and the 101 now. So if anyone knows um, or has the the Mega Box Red or 101 of Dario Lopez from 2022 Bowman, please reach out to me. Um, I definitely know someone who'd be very interested in acquiring that. And then this last card is the other reason I wanted to film because I wanted to discuss this with you guys. So this is a Stephen Kwan Aqua Way Refractor. And it got a PSA 6. And the reason it got a 6, you guys can kind of see it here, right below the rookie card logo, there is a large dent, really large fingernail shaped dent. Um, it's super apparent when you hold the card in hand. And you can you can see it on the camera for sure, but when you grab the card and you're looking at it in hand, it's, it's really apparent that there's a dent in the card. Um, so the reason I wanted to discuss this is because I don't think... I have a hard time thinking I would have possibly missed this before submitting it. Um, it's it's so apparent that it would be difficult to miss. Uh, I've submitted, at this point, several hundred cards to PSA, and this is the first time I've got one back where I'm pretty confident that the card I received back is in worse condition than when I sent it out. Uh, I've certainly missed things before. I got that Otani back that was in my reels as a 7. That was a paper card. It had some weird surface issues. Uh, and I thought, man, maybe I just missed that. But this is so apparent when you look at the card. You can pick it up and if you're looking at the front surface, you will see this dent within the first couple seconds. It's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, it's really hard for me to think I would have missed that. Just knowing how I review cards for grading and at this point I've I'm pretty experienced at submitting cards. I don't know. I, so I don't know if you guys have any experience like asking PSA, is it possible this card was damaged? I submit through a third party, so I've already sent them an email. I don't know if anything is going to come of it because I don't take before pictures of most of my cards, so I don't have any proof. So I, I imagine they're not going to do anything, but it's just kind of a weird circumstance that I wanted to highlight. That's going to do it, guys. That is this PSA reveal. If you enjoy the content, please hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the reveal. Let me know, especially if you have any experience um, maybe questioning PSA if a card was possibly damaged in transit or in their possession. Thanks, guys. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and a great week ahead. And take care.